Hello, for those who are new, welcome to my home, and for those returning, welcome back. Today, I'm decluttering and maximizing hidden storage in my home. I have this area under our house stairs as you head down into the basement that I'm using for school supplies that aren't used every day and junk drawer items. My husband also has some items here that I will condense. I hope this inspires you to find some hidden storage spots in your home and take on a small decluttering task. Little tasks add up to big results. I'm starting out by pulling everything out and throwing it in a big box that I've put on the floor. That, my friends, is an empty Dunkin' Donut cup. What little areas in your house have you turned into storage areas? If you could, leave it in the comment section below. I know it will help all of us as we look for those areas in our own home. I've also emptied some papers out of our homeschool closet and that box I'm emptying right now is from our basement. It has old markers and such in it. So I'm just going through all of the school supplies and figuring out the best way to store it. I'll leave a link at the end of this video as well as in my description box of our homeschool storage because it's really great if you're homeschooling and you don't have a large house. It's also great for those who have kids that are in school and are looking for a homework station. I have lined paper here and then I also have cardstock that's colored and I also have computer paper. It was all in one giant pile in the homeschool closet and was getting ruined so I'm separating it out. I found these paper organizers in my basement that I used years ago. So I'm getting this organized so that things aren't getting ruined the way they were before and then I'll be putting the computer paper underneath our printer in the dining room where we homeschool. Time to tackle that box of things that came out from under the stairs. As I get one thing organized, I put it back on the shelves. That way it's a lot easier for me to declutter the rest because I don't have so much that's on that island. a box I found in my basement that was also full of school supplies and it was mostly old markers and dried up glue sticks so in the trash they go. This unused photo box made a perfect place to put markers and colored pencils. It's amazing what you can find when you just hunt around and shop your own home. Pulling out Valentine cookie cutters and the rest go in our kitchen storage in the basement. The kids have a craft box in the basement so that's where these paints will go. It was something we used for a mapping project last year. And the box 
is empty and we're halfway through our decluttering project. This is a box of school materials that we use more frequently and I like to keep handy. So I'm just going through it and I'm making sure there's nothing in there that shouldn't be in there. Decluttering is ongoing and even things that we've organized in the past need to be revisited again and again over time. I even found a box of pencils that had never been used. The cat never likes to be left out of my cleaning projects. On a more serious note, decluttering is a very overwhelming thing to take on. And when we think of our entire house and everything that needs to be decluttered at once, it really seems nearly impossible, if not completely impossible. That's why I think it's so important to take one small spot at a time. The mistake I made today as I was decluttering, if you look at my oven in the background, you can see things on the stove, there's things on the counter, I was afraid I wasn't going to have enough energy, so I didn't clean up the kitchen first before I started my project. And then I had to take a break to get everyone's lunch. So then my kitchen was even messier and it made me extremely anxious. There just was too much going on at once for me. And so again, next time I will clean up that room before I start pulling things out because when I see too many things at once, I just want to give up. It's too much. And I would just like to encourage you that if you take one small space at a time, that these little projects, they quickly add up. I start in the rooms where I need it to be the most organized and I work my way out to the other ends of the house. That way I get immediate satisfaction. If there's anything that I can do for you to help you with in either information or encouragement or even just being your cheerleader. If there's anything I can do for you to help you as you declutter your home, I hope you'll let me know in the comments below because I really truly would like to be an encouragement to you because I know how hard it is. Here I'm decluttering some things that belong to my husband and I'm really not decluttering because I'm not going to get rid of his things. So what I'm doing is I'm condensing them and I'm putting them in a box so that if he asks for them, I know right where they are. Now's the best part. I'm just putting everything back. I'm putting things in their new home and I'm just so happy and excited to have this done. It looks so good. I know where everything is and it's all decluttered and organized. But don't click off until I have a chance to pray for you. Lord, I just pray that you be with each person who's watching today. I know there's areas in their home that they'd like to see more organized and decluttered. I pray you give them the motivation and encouragement to take those tasks on. Help them to take it one small step at a time and to be encouraged as they see things improving day by day and project by project. In Jesus' name, amen. In the upper left hand corner of this video, you're going to see a link to my original school organization video. In the bottom left corner, I'll put a link to my organization and decluttering playlist. And then if you'd like a free subscription to my channel, just click on my face in the bottom right corner. Remember, God loves you and I do too. Bye!